Let's get started. Create a new composition. Go to Composition. Click New. Rename it to Particles 1. For this composition, I'm using 1920 by 1080 pixels. Frame per second is 30 and duration of this composition is 30 seconds. Click OK. Add a new black solid layer to the timeline. Rename it to floor. Change its size to 2000 by 2000 pixels. Make the layer 3D. Go to transform. And change X rotation to 90 degrees. Now add a camera layer to the timeline. Rename it to camera. Change its zoom to 423.33 mm. Uncheck lock to zoom. Now add a null object to the timeline. Make this null layer 3D. Link this null layer to camera layer. Click stopwatch next to Y rotation. Now move the timeline to 30 seconds and change its value to 1 and 0. Go to camera layer and to transform. Move the timeline to 0 frames. Now click the stopwatch next to position. Change its value to 0. Minus 500 and minus 500. Now move the timeline to 30 seconds. Change position value to 0, minus 100 and minus 500. Now add a light to the timeline. Rename it to emitter. Light type should be point. And intensity will be 100%. Go to Lighten to transform. Change position value to 960, 200 and 0. Press Alt button and click stopwatch next to position. Right. Wiggle. 1 and 360. Go to Light Options. Change shadow darkness to 100%. And change shadow diffusion to 0 pixels. Now add a new null layer. Rename it to control. Go to effects and presets. And add color control effect to this layer. Change color to 0, 0 and 50. Press Alt button and click Stopwatch next to color. Right. Wiggle. 1 and 0 0.5. Add a solid layer to the timeline. Rename it to PB slash 1. Make this layer comp size. Now move this layer below camera layer. Go to effects and presets. Add a trap code particular effect to this layer. Go to emitter. Change particles per second to 50. Change emitter type to lights. Change direction to directional. Change velocity to zero. Change velocity random to zero percent. Also change emitter size X, Y and Z to zero. Go to particles.
Change life per second to 1. Change life random to 40%. Change size to 0. Change size random to 5%. Press Alt button and click Stopwatch next to color. Add the script from the description down below. This script will concatenate color particles. Change blend mode to add. Go to physics. Change physics model from air to bounce. Change gravity to 580. Go to bounce. Change floor layer to floor. This will let particles bounce on floor layer. Change bounce to zero. Change bounce random to zero percent. And slide to zero. Go to auxiliary system. Change emit to at bounce event. Change particles per collision to 100. Change particle velocity to 150 and change inherit main velocity to 100. Now change life per second to 1.5. Change life random to 50%. Change blend mode to screen. Now change size to 4. Change size random to 50%. Change size over life, using presets. Change opacity to 100. Now change set color to, over life. And change color from main to 100%. Change gravity to 200. Go to world transform. Press alt button and click stopwatch next to Y rotation world. Now add a script from the description down below. This script will transform particles on all four sides.
duplicate this layer, by pressing Ctrl D. Rename it to PB-2. Change the mode of PB-1 and PB-2 layer from normal to screen. Duplicate till PB-4. Because of script, it will create particles on all four sides. Duplicate PB-4, by pressing Ctrl D. And rename it to PA-1. Go to Particles. Change life per second to 2. Change life random to 0%. Change size to 2. Go to physics and to bounce. Change collision event from bounce to kill. This is because it will will end particles bounce when they fall on floor. Go to auxiliary system. Change emit to continuously. Change particles per second to 400. Change particle velocity to 0. Change inherit main velocity to 0. Now change life per second to 0 0.5. Change life random to 0%. Change blend mode to normal. Change size to 3. And change size random to 0%. Change size over life, using presets. Change gravity to 0. Duplicate PA slash 1, by pressing Ctrl D. Duplicate it till PA slash 4. This will add particles on all four sides. Duplicate PA slash 4, by pressing Ctrl D. Rename it to PC slash 1. Go to emitter. Change particles per second to 200. Change position subframe to 10x linear. Go to physics. Change physics model from bounce to air. This will create particles lines in air, on all four sides. Change gravity to zero. Go to auxiliary system. Turn off emit. Duplicate this layer, by pressing Ctrl D. Duplicate it till PC slash 4. It will create particles lines in the air, on all four sides. Now create a new composition. Rename it to final. Go to project window. Drag particles one comp to the timeline.
Now add an adjustment layer to the timeline. Rename it to CC. Go to Effects and Presets. And add Curves effect to this layer. Change color channel, as per your need. Now add a new adjustment layer. Rename it to Blur. Now change the mode of this layer from normal to screen. Add curves effect to this layer. Change its RGB channel. Now add a fast box blur effect to this layer. Change blur radius to 80 and iterations to 1. Check, repeat, edge pixels. Now duplicate this layer. Now change blur radius to 160. Now play this animation. That is folks for today. I hope you like my video of trap code particular animation tutorial. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to it. Thank you and have a nice day.